Good morning, everyone. I'm going to be talking about imaging of the esophagus and stomach for the next 40 minutes. My name is Fiona Cassidy. And I'm a professor of radiology at UCSD and the VA Medical Center in San Diego. And I have nothing to disclose. So first, I'm just going to show you a few quiz cases. Um, so have a look at these and see what you think. I'm not going to give you the answer uh, to these until later in the lecture. So have a quick look at this first case with this stricture in the mid esophagus and this glandular appearance of the lower esophagus. Another case is a young male with history dysphagia who has these ring like narrowings in the lower esophagus. What do you think of this mass in the stomach? And lastly, what do you think of this grape-like mass in the distal stomach st slash first part of the duodenum? Okay, so we'll start by talking about the esophagus. First of all, let's just have a look at the normal anatomy. So in the upper esophagus, you have um, paired the leculae um, and bilateral piriform sinuses seen here. Folleculae well seen on the lateral view, piriform sinus is less well seen. This whole area is the hypopharynx. There are three normal indentations on the esophagus. The first one is the aortic arch seen here. The second is the left main bronchus, also better seen here where you can actually see the lucency of the left main bronchus crossing over there and putting a little indentation on the esophagus. And the third normal indentation is the left atrium, which is gonna be more marked in patients who have a large left atrium. So aortic arch, left main stem bronchus, and left atrium. Those are the normal impressions you will often see on the esophagus. Note here on the double contrast esophagram, the normal mucosa is very featureless. Look at the, let's look at the lower esophagus. There are two normal muscular rings in the lower esophagus. The first one is the A-ring, which you often don't see. You often only see it when there is very well, when the esophagus is very well distended. So this is unusual to see it quite as well as this, but this is where it is. It's a normal anatomical structure. The space in between the A and the B ring is called the vestibule. The B ring is usually located, is, is located right at the G junction, just a, a millimeter above the histological G junction, which is called the Z line. So it usually should be right at the diaphragmatic hiatus down here. And usually you don't see it that well unless there's a hiatal hernia, like in this case. So this whole area is hiatal hernia as the stomach is pulled. So that we know that the Z line is, should be just below the B ring. So we know the Z line is here. So all this is stomach. So you usually only see the B ring this well when there's a hiatal hernia. And be aware that the diaphragmatic hiatus where the, where the G junction is normally located is uh, will be located quite a bit below the diaphragm because these images are always performed obliquely. So when you're performing these esophagrams, make sure you go low enough that you don't stop at the diaphragm. Make sure you go all the way down to the diaphragmatic hiatus. 